Although this weekend's planned explosion in Times Square fizzled, police are calling it the most serious bomb plot since the first attack on the World Trade Center in 1993. After examining footage from dozens of security cameras, investigators say they have several strong leads. But their best may be on this video. You're about to see a middle-aged white man who police say was acting furtively, taking off his top and stuffing it into a bag. Lindsay Davis joins us from Times Square this morning with the latest on this ongoing investigation. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Vanita. I feel like I should be out here covering a weather story. The rain is what's slowing things down, certainly in Times Square. But on Sunday, it was back to business as usual. This area was packed with uh, tourists, vendors and shoppers. But behind the scenes, police are looking for a white male in his 40s who sent thousands into a panic on Saturday night. Perhaps this man thought no one was watching as he starts shedding clothes in an alley right by Times Square. But this surveillance video catches the unidentified man as he takes off one shirt and reveals another one underneath. Before walking away, he then looks back in the direction of the SUV that's now at the center of a terror plot. Moments later, witnesses saw smoke coming from the vehicle. Police were alerted and the surrounding area was evacuated. We are very lucky. Thanks to uh, alert New Yorkers and professional police officers, we avoided what could have been a very deadly event. The bomb squad spent hours securing the SUV. It was loaded with propane and gas cans, fireworks, timing devices, and more than 100 pounds of fertilizer that, according to police, wasn't the kind that would explode. Officials say if the person wasn't aware of the characteristics of the fertilizer, it could point to the fact that the bomber didn't know what he was doing. But if it had worked properly, there could have been casualties. Clearly, it was the intent of whoever did this to uh, cause mayhem. In the hours after the Times Square incident, a Taliban group in Pakistan claimed responsibility, but U.S. officials are skeptical of the claim. Once you decide that it's either a single event, so you're going after a person or persons, or this has tentacles to it, and there are other people involved with potential bombs in other locations, and that's where you're potentially running against the clock. Police are now pouring over evidence found in the car, and federal officials have joined in the manhunt for the would-be bomber.